Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to work on using up some of the scraps that I have left from my Pine Street Square pad. These are, this is kind of the pile of what I have left, big and small. And I mentioned when I kind of reintroduced the Pine Street Square pad, gosh, two months ago, back in October, that I had, you know, the pad that I started last year, and I had also inherited some scraps and stuff from my niece who had like kind of cleaned out her stuff when she moved. And so I had inherited some stuff from her as well. And I think she had the smaller pad, like the maybe, was it five by seven or four by six? I'm not sure, but she had one of the smaller pads because you can tell the, the prints a little bit smaller. The patterns are smaller. So she had already put a bunch of paper on card bases because she had made Christmas cards a couple years ago with this paper and she had already had the paper on the card bases but just hadn't used them and so I decided to go ahead and take advantage of these and try and use these up so I'm going to start with these uh, along with some of the bigger scraps and hopefully get some cards done. So like I said here is the pile of the scraps that I have left. My first task will be really to sort through them I have already, like when I was cutting down some other stuff, I had kind of separated out some of these little pieces that would be great for like the inside of a card or to put on like little tags. So I went ahead and separated those out. And then when I was cutting out my advent calendar pieces, there were some, when I fussy cut out the number, like there was like four corners left. And so I punched circles, various size circles out of those. I thought those might work as some embellishments on cards. And then for other embellishments, I have this plaid washi tape that I got from just the open bin at Michael's. I do have a couple of the journal cards left as well as a strip. And these are, there's actually some more journal cards in here too that I had pulled out because I didn't like the sentiment and was going to use them for the back side. These are the ones that I had kept for the front. Like I liked the picture or it had a usable picture with a sentiment. So I have what two, four, six, seven of those. So hopefully I can make good use of those. I have these little vintage chipboard Santas that I found at Hobby Lobby a couple months ago. They were originally $3.99. They're, they were half off and it's called Santa die cuts. I also recently picked up these burlap uh, reindeer and holly and there are a little bit of bling on the noses and for the holly berries but these are called just reindeer and holly burlap embellishments there are six to a pack and they were originally $2.99 again I think I paid half price and then from my stash I pulled out a few things I have some old making memories rub-ons that I'd like to use up I think these are more make making memory rub-ons these are stickability Santa stickers. Again, they came from Hobby Lobby and I got them on clearance for like 62 cents. And then I also have some older rub-ons that I inherited from my mother-in-law, one of her auction bin purchases. And these are American traditional designs. And they're just some like kind of rustic vintage Santas. They're Merry Xmas, Merry Xmas Santa, and they are from 2004. So we'll see if those work. And then these are Tulip rub-on transfers. And they originally came from Hobby Lobby back in 2003. <laughs> Again, they have not been in my stash that long, but apparently they were in somebody's stash. And so my mother-in-law had passed them on to me and I, cause I can always try and use up anything. So I will see if these are going to work, but I just thought the colors of the red and green and kind of the creamy white worked on this one. 
and that one I had just pulled out too. So those are what I have to embellish with right now. I may end up pulling out some more stuff as we go, we'll see. But my first task is going to be sort to sort this mess. And I will do that along with you, but I am probably going to put you on fast forward so that you don't have to sit through every second of the painless or painful, not painless, painful process. So I will switch you to fast forward and get started sorting. And then I will check back with, in with you guys kind of after this step before I get into decorating my cards, so. sorted and these are like the biggest pieces I have left so like these could do like some cards be some I could probably make some card bases card fronts out of those and some other like thinner scraps and then these are the other biggest pieces I have the rest are all you know kind of one and a half inch to two inch strips here's some smaller the usable pieces. These are like the thinner strips, various sizes. And then I have like these little bitty pieces. You know, some of them, like I've already cut into little fishtail banners, so they'd be great as little accents or fishtails. And then I have this pile over here, which are just weird shaped pieces that are left from me cutting stuff out. So a lot of them, I cut some triangular trees out at one point. So I have some weird shaped pieces from that, which I can always punch out or even use, you know, the angle. There are journal card pieces that I have fussy cut out the sentiment from, but like this, I could fussy cut out the chevron and use that as an embellishment of some sort, or some of these other ones I can just punch out you know, circles to use as additional embellishments. And then there are some really weird shape pieces here where like I've already cut, punched some out, like, but this was like the remnants of trees. So I am going to save that and I can punch stuff out of it as I need it. And then the rest of this stuff is hopefully usable on my cards. So next step is to start decorating my cards.
Okay, so I finished the with the pre-decorated card bases that my niece had, and I feel like I used up a good bit of the rub-ons and scraps. So kind of walk you through what I have left, and then I'll kind of show you the cards once I get things a little more cleaned up. So I still have, I did use some of these for the insides of the cards. You saw me do that at the very end of that last segment. And then, oh, I, at one point, I think I pointed out my Zig two-way glue pen. I use this for a lot of like the little bitty paper elements rather than using up my uh, art glitter glue. Like these hold, this holds paper really well and it gives you a little, just a little bit of leeway <laughs> to move it around. And this is what I used to do all my rub-ons with and I wish I could tell you where I got it but it came with a pack of rub-ons a long time ago and it's like a nylon stick and I'm trying to, it does say something on there. I don't know if I can read the American Crafts, but it is amazing to do rub-ons. It has like a kind of a flatter tip that's great for doing larger spaces and then it has this pointed tip if you're doing like the font, small fonts. So that's what I used the whole time. And here are the scraps I have left. I still have a good portion of the bigger scraps. And then I have added to some of the smaller scraps. I used up some of my strips. And but yeah, there's still a good pile of scraps left. I went through and punched out shapes from a lot of the odd pieces of scraps I had left. So I just had these bigger ones that I thought if I need bigger circles, I was gonna go ahead and save those. Use them as I need them, but. So that is the pile of scraps that I still have left to make more cards and tags. Let's push those out of the way. As far as the embellishments of this rub-on pack, I used, I think all I did was use the one Merry Christmas that was up here. I used several of the chipboard Santa pieces. I still have a lot left, but that's good because I really like those and we'll use them on something else. I am down to three journal cards, one with a sentiment. And the only reason I didn't use him or him, it is because the color of this was just different from the back, the red that was in the paper on the cards. And so I figured I'd save it until I have a non-red kind of card mat. And then these just didn't really fit either with what I was working on. So I have three journal cards left to use. These Making memory Simply Stated rub-ons, I got them out to try and use them on something and I ended up using something else. So I did cut the sheet in half, but then I didn't use any of those, but they will get used at some point. These, I didn't use any of the burlap reindeer on these cards, but I did use some of the, a couple of the holly, burlap holly leaves. And Oh, the little, there were two other smaller rub-on packs. I, all I have left of one is just the green, a green Merry Christmas and then the three little Santas together, which are really cute. Need to find a place to use those. And of the other Making Memories rub-on pack, I have Rejoice, I have Noel. Because I didn't cut out the Let It Snow, I ended up accidentally using some of the Better Not Pout, so I kind of lost it. And then I have a piece on Earth left as well. So I feel like I did a pretty good job on using all of those up. And then we'll just kind of go through the cards. I tried to show them as I finished them, but I just thought I'd kind of talk about them a bit here. I started off using some of the journal cards just because it's always best for me to start with an easy task just to kind of get into the flow of it. So I added a rub on up here that says believe and then just added a strip behind it. And I ended up matting most of my journal cards with just craft cardstock to help them stand out. Reindeer is cute. I added the happy holidays rub on and the one of the holly leaves. And I'd have to say for those rub ons, some of them being what 16 years old, they all worked really well. There was only one 
and it was from this pack. It didn't work great, but it had like some dimension in it. And I think that's why. So I lost a little bit of the why, but you can't really tell. But that's the only one I had any problem with. I did have to apply some elbow grease on some of them, but that worked a lot better than I thought. So here I use one of the chipboard Santas. This one was just kind of a mix of a bunch of scraps and little pieces. And here on these, I had originally started with this one and didn't love how it turned out. And so I was trying to figure out how I could use his antlers as like to hang a banner on. So I had punched some little stars and then drew in the little string for the banner. Just using some more of the journal cards and scraps. And this one, there were some of the card bases where she didn't get the paper like lined up well and you could still see the top of the card a little bit there were so there were some like this one where I put a thin strip of paper across the top this one instead of trying to find a paper that matched I just decided to ink it up and then just inked all the different pieces so everything stands out and then these two I had originally kept to use the back side and decided to go ahead and use, I really liked the jars, and so I decided to go ahead and add rub-ons to the lines on the front of the jars, because they were meant more for journaling. So I did that, and then just bestie cut out the jar so I could use it as the element. And then these two pieces that I added here were left from one of the cut-aparts that I had kind of fussy cut around, and so I just decided to save the chevron border and added that as my background. And on a lot of the cards, I used a bunch of the little shapes that I had punched out of some of those weird scraps. Like the same with these little circles down here. And then when I got to this last one, I just wanted to do something different. And so I was trying to remember from memory, there's a card sketch that I always use. And it's from Operation Right Home. I don't remember the number. But rather than go over to my desk and pull, like, search for the the card sketch, I was like, oh, I can remember. So I remember the basic layout, but I couldn't remember. I remembered the shape of the mat square here, but I couldn't remember the size, or I couldn't remember, I could remember the size of the mat, that square, but I couldn't remember the size of the individual little pieces. So it took me a few tries to figure out that it was one and a half inches for the little squares. So just added my rub on there, and then added two of those last little snowflakes down here to go ahead and use those up. So. Those, they don't stand out a whole lot, but they just give it a little bit of something. So 14 cards I got using the card bases that my niece had already kind of pre-matted and it used up scraps, used up a lot of rub-ons. It was a really good exercise for me. The, I didn't use any card sketches other than this one and that was just trying to go from memory. So it was a good exercise, a good challenge for me. And it was nice to sit down and make some cards again. I hadn't done that in a while. And in the meantime, while I was making some cards, my daughter, Ellie, also made one. She got a little 6x6 Christmas pad from Michael's when they were on sale what, right after Black Friday. And so she took a little 3D wreath here and then a sweet Christmas wishes and made herself a cute little Christmas card. She's been on a card-making frenzy lately. So go ahead and kind of lay out the cards. Oop, zoom out a little bit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this process. Like I said, it was nice to get back into the card making process. I hadn't really done that in a while. A lot of these guys are the same. But hopefully you got some ideas on how to use that, maybe some of those old things in your stash, because if you saw my video, my last video, it was on the Use It Up Challenge for 2020. And so it's going to be something similar to this, where like I just take a pack of rub-ons and I figure out how I can use it up, or you know, take a pack of journal cards and figure out how I can use them up on different projects. So. This was kind of a combination of trying to finish off my Pine Street Square pad and using up some of the rub-ons that I had. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Take care and have a crafty day.